This guide shows you what to do if you get a message on your screen telling you you need to install or update Silverlight. Now, sometimes you might go to a website and it may say that you need to install Silverlight or it might say that you need to update Silverlight. If you get this message, then follow these instructions and uh, it'll get it working. So, first of all, we need to open Internet Explorer. Now, unfortunately, Silverlight does not work with the new Microsoft Edge. This is the new Microsoft Edge, the dark blue E that's usually at the bottom of your screen in Windows 10. Now, Internet Explorer may not be on your desktop on Windows 10. In fact, it probably isn't. So we're gonna search for it in the Start menu. So move your mouse down to the Start button and left click the Start button. Then when the Start menu appears, just type on your keyboard, Internet Explorer. Okay, and after a few seconds, under best match, Internet Explorer desktop app will appear. Move your mouse over that and then left click it once. <clears throat> now you might get a message come up here welcoming you to Internet Explorer if you've not been in it further uh, uh, before, so just close that message down. Okay, so next thing we need to do is we need to move our mouse up to the address bar at the top of the screen, delete out what's ever in it using the backspace key or the delete key on our keyboard, and we type microsoft.com forward slash get silver light. Okay, and then we press enter or return on the keyboard. And we should get this message appear. So we've got click to install. There might be a click to update if you've already got it installed. So I'm gonna left click, click to install. Okay, at the bottom of the screen it says, do you want to run or save Silverlight underscore x64.exe from downloadmicrosoft.com. So this might say, if you're running a 32-bit system, it might just say silverlight.exe rather than the x64. It might say silverlight x32.exe. Um, move your mouse over the word run and left click it. This bit may take some time while it's running a security scan. Okay, so it says, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Now, as long as here it says Microsoft Silverlight Installer and the verified publisher is Microsoft Corporation, then it's okay to click yes. So move your mouse over to yes and left click once. Okay, so it's saying install Silverlight, but click and install now, you accept the Silverlight license agreement. Now you can obviously read that agreement if you want to. Um, but what I'm gonna do here is before I click on install now is I'm just gonna remove the tick from make Bing my, Bing my search engine and make MSN my homepage. So left click those boxes just to remove those ticks from there. Doesn't matter if you don't do that, but it was, it's gonna change your homepage and it's gonna change your search engine, which you don't necessarily want whilst installing the Silverlight. So uh, I, I just make sure that those are unticked. Okay, then I move my mouse uh, over install now and left click once. It then says it's installing. Again, this part might take a while. And there we go, it's now installed and it's now asking us, do we want to enable Microsoft Update? So yeah, we can leave the tick in there and move our mouse over next and left click once. And we've got the message here, installation successful. It says you may have to refresh the web page to make for these changes to take effect. So left click close, then move your mouse over the cross in Internet Explorer, left click it to close it down and open up Internet Explorer again. And this time Silverlight should work. If you're wondering why I, go, I told you to go into Internet Explorer to install Silverlight, it's basically because Google, the current versions as of 2018, Google Chrome and Mozilla Firefox uh, are not compatible with Silverlight and they're never likely to be now. Uh, I think Microsoft is starting to withdraw support for Silverlight, so uh, uh, it can't be used in those browsers.